the three rules, rate, rhythm and shape. First, you need to check the rhythm strip for the rate. Is it fast? Is it slow? Or is it normal? Okay, that's the first thing you look, you're checking the rhythm strip. Next, you check for the rhythm. Easiest one is always the rhythm strip. You check if a P wave is present. If it is not present, it is going to be either a flatter or a fibrillation. It could be ventricular or atrial origin. Okay. First, you check the rate, then the rhythm. Next, you must follow the shape. If both of those are normal, you follow the shape. What does that mean? You follow the ECG, use your fingers and just follow each wave. Okay. You need to follow each wave. So if there is any changes, let's say this wave is enlarged, the P wave, or it has a hump appearance. It is due to an atrial problem. Usually it's due to hypertrophy. Okay. Next, you look at this gap. This is the most important thing I need you to take out of this. Look at that gap. You check if it is large, if it looks larger than normal, larger than half of a big box, we say it's a hard block. Okay. The PQ gap tells you if there's a hard block. Okay. Next, the QRS complex. If you see a wide QRS complex with uh, rabbit ears, that means it's either it's a bundle branch block or if it is tall, it is a hypertrophy. Okay. Next, you look at the next wave, S wave. Has the S wave elevated with the T wave? If yes, it is a STEMI. Has the S wave depressed with the T wave? If yes, it's ischemic changes. Okay. And you look at the T wave and if you find it has elevated together with this, it is a condition in which, sorry, I forgot the condition. Let me check. Hyperkalemia, rare condition. You will not be asked in the fourth year to check those questions. And if you find a U wave, that could be a hypokalemia situation. This is all you need to know for ECG. Okay. So once you decide it's a bundle branch block, if uh, once you decide it's a hard block, just follow the rhythm strip, find what degree of block it is. Okay. Next, QRS abnormality. If it is a problem in V1, V2, it's a right heart problem hypertrophy or a bundle branch block. If it is abnormal, if I in the V5, V6, it's a left heart block or left ventricular hypertrophy. Okay, I have drawn this all here. And if there is ST abnormality, it could be elevated depression or in S1, Q3, T3. Okay, next T wave abnormality, U wave abnormality, done. If you can follow these rules, rate, rhythm and shape, you can read any ECG. Okay, it's all about the practice.